Hello everyone, Stormy Strike here, and this is my spoiler-free review on the Netflix original series, Free Rain. I meant to watch just the first episode of this show, but then I ended up binge-watching the whole season. I was just completely hooked on it, and I'm hoping they do another season because I would love to watch it, especially since, I don't know if this is a spoiler alert or not, but the first season does kind of end off on a cliffhanger, sort of. So I really hope they do a second season because I just want to know what happens next. There's like so much going on and I'm just really involved in it now. I haven't watched The Saddle Club in a really long time, but if I'm remembering The Saddle Club show correctly, Free Rain is kind of like a modern version of The Saddle Club, just like the general concept of it. I guess that the show Heartland is also pretty much like Free Rain and like the general concept and stuff of what it is. Except I have not seen Heartland yet, so I can't really say it all exactly. I don't know. I haven't seen it yet. I'll try to make that the next show that I end up watching. So Free Rain has a lot about horses. And the reason I mention this, because people are probably like, well, obviously it's a horse show, isn't it? Well, what I'm saying is that it is not a show focused only on the human characters, which is something that does happen sometimes with horse movies or series where it's like just a normal human drama that happens to have horses in it. I know that happens sometimes, but Free Rain is not that kind of show. I think it actually struck a really good balance between humans and horses on the screen. I do have a few critiques for this series. I'm going to go ahead and actually talk about those first, and then I will leave off with the more good points that I want to mention. So I do have some critiques for this series. But they didn't really take away from my enjoyment of the show too much. These are just a few minor things that if they were changed, it would have basically made the show pretty much perfect for me. And remember, as I do these critiques, I can be really nitpicky because I have done a ton of film classes. And so I just know all these weird little things to look for all the time in movies and TV shows. So I see all these little things sometimes that a lot of people might not even notice or just completely overlook. So keep that in mind too, that when I'm nitpicking, I'm really nitpicking. And just because I point out little different things that I thought could have been done better, doesn't mean that I don't think the show was not good. It's just I'm pointing out little things that I think could have been done better, but they didn't necessarily like ruin the show for me or anything. So my critiques are first, that the voiceover segments were sometimes really not necessary in some parts of the show. They added some snippets of voiceover during scenes or moments that were already really clear about what was going on and how the character of Zoe was feeling. So I just thought that it really wasn't needed and it could have been taken out of with little effect on how people would be receiving what was going on. But for the most part, the voiceover parts were fine. They didn't take away anything from the show or anything like that. They were just sometimes I thought unnecessary for the story. There were a couple moments in the show where I felt like the dialogue between the characters or something a certain character would say was just a little awkward or too on the nose. Those moments felt a little weird to me and just kind of broke my immersion into the show. But that only happened a couple times throughout the 10 episodes, so it really wasn't that bad at all. And the dialogue that was kind of awkward or on the nose, it wasn't like super terrible or anything. It's just me nitpicking the littlest things that I could say bad about the show, which is really not all that much. In one episode, which actually I think was one of the last episodes, I felt like an interaction between two particular characters went too easily, like the issues between them resolved a little too quickly and easily, especially considering how one of those characters is. But that might just be also really nitpicky of me, but that was just kind of something I thought was a little too easy resolution in the story. But it seems like that there's still like conflict between these two characters further on and like probably into the next season if they do another season. So I think it's still not bad. It's not like it just a sudden like magical automatic fix of these two characters relationship. Lastly, there were some things about the show that were a little cliche or predictable. The jumping off point for this show is about a girl finding a horse she has an unexplainable bond with, which is basically the starting point for almost all horse shows and movies. But if you can look past that, I think it is a really captivating and fun show. And even though there are some predictable moments in the show, 
there were also a lot of unpredictable moments. There were several times I was just like, oh my gosh, what? I did not see that coming. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and go into the good points that I have about the show, but I'm not going to go too in-depth on them because I don't want to spoil anything. Cinematography was really beautiful for most of the show. Like, a lot of shots were just amazing. The locations were just beautiful. Visually, this show is really pretty and really nice. There is a lot of drama in the show. There's a lot of relationships. There's actually also a lot of like mystery and adventure, all kinds of different stuff going on. It's really exciting at some points. There's some really fun little humor moments in it. It has a really good balance, I feel like, of all kinds of different elements of storytelling that just make it really enjoyable to watch. And I was like never bored <laughs> throughout the whole show. I was just completely captivated. I was just like, ooh, what's gonna happen next? I thought that pretty much all the characters were really interesting and likable characters. Even the antagonists were like really realistic because they didn't make them like unrealistically overly evil or anything. They still had that bit of human side to them that made them realistic. And for the most part I enjoyed pretty much all of the characters except for one in particular I'm not going to mention. But for the most part, I liked all the characters, even characters when I first started watching it, I thought, oh brother, I'm not going to like this character. I actually ended up liking them, so I thought it was just done really well. The acting was also really good. I don't think there was any moments throughout the show where I was like, oh, the acting, blah. I, I actually did that recently. I started trying to watch the first episode of Dinotopia, which is a show I always wanted to watch and like never did. And I honestly don't know if I can even finish watching that show because the acting is not so good at points and it distracts me completely from the show. But this was not at all the case. I thought the acting was done really well. I think that's kind of all I can say for the show right now. I know I gave a few critiques, but that doesn't mean I didn't like this show. I actually loved this show. The reason I'm not pointing out all the good things about it is because I don't want to like spoil things in doing so because I feel like if I start going off I'm just gonna start talking about stuff that happened in the show and I don't want to do this for this particular review but I was completely hooked on this show once I started it and I think I can even safely say that I just I loved it I really love this show I genuinely enjoyed just binge watching the show and getting to escape for a while into it. It was just really fun and really captivating and I think I've said those words too many times but you get my idea. I seriously thought this show was really great and based on even a few just brief other reviews I've seen it looks like a lot of people actually really like it too so I would recommend it. Please go check it out because hopefully they will make another season if they do get enough positive reviews hopefully because it is just really good and I'm actually probably totally gonna buy it too when it comes out on DVD or something because I, I really enjoyed it. I want to watch it again. Really great show. I've said before that I like the show Spirit Writing Free which is coincidentally another Netflix show and I do like Spirit Writing Free. I think it is a cute show but Free Rain obviously has an older target group and because of that, I personally love this show a lot more than Spirit Riding Free. Uh, Free Rain also had a lot more time to like develop characters and had more complex, in-depth storytelling. So it was a little bit more, you know, just a lot more to it compared to Spirit Riding Free, which was obviously done, I believe, on a much smaller budget and aimed for yet much younger kids. And then Free Rain has a bit older target audience. So that is, I think, why I like it a lot better. I can't say if I think Free Rain is better than shows like The Saddle Club or Heartland because I haven't watched The Saddle Club in ages and I haven't even watched Heartland yet so I can't attest for that but I did really really enjoy Free Rain and I would really recommend it to fellow horse lovers to watch it and check it out. I don't know if other people will enjoy it as much as I did but I thought it was great. Now if you watch the show you can let me know in the comments what you thought about it. But there is another question I would like to ask you guys in this video for those of you who have watched it too. I don't know if it really counts as a spoiler or not. I mean, it's kind of not, but I'm just going to be talking about a couple characters briefly. So if you haven't watched Free Rain yet and you want to skip ahead like 10 seconds or whatever so you don't hear this, feel free to. 
Okay, so in Free Brain, there are two male characters who are kind of the two heartthrobs of the series. And so my question for you guys is, who did you like better, Marcus or Pin? Let me know down in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I also did a review on the movie Albon the Enchanted Stallion that I will link in the description and at the end of this video if you are interested in checking that one out as well. That's all for now. I hope you have a whoresome day and I will see you in the next video. Bye everyone!